Improving student learning, that's the goal. Educational leaders across the state of New Jersey will tell you stories of the dozens of programs they've bought into over the years. The dance of the vendors that leads to another one-size-fits-all initiative to turn your school around. Well, we've tried it all before and we know that it doesn't work. Research and best practices tell us that what's really needed is a process that touches upon the key components of effective schools and effective leadership and focuses on practice rather than compliance. Some years ago, as an elementary school principal and a member of the New Jersey Professional Teaching Standards Board, Pat Wright began to think about what such a process could look like. And together with her colleagues, she developed CAR, the Connected Action Roadmap, a process for school improvement that empowers teachers to lead the charge through effective professional learning communities. It was Fullen's work on coherence that made me realize how we are inundated with so many initiatives within schools. And instead of having a proactive approach to addressing those, we react to those. And it's created initiative fatigue in our schools. I don't want schools to think that they're engaged in in a program that's a step-by-step -step way that they're going to achieve their goals because that doesn't exist. This is a process-driven approach. It's a journey that schools are going to go on. It takes a while to see the improvement, but they will, that, but they will reap the benefits by establishing the key components of effective schools. I love seeing teachers empowered by this work because they have so much intuitive knowledge, they have so much experiential knowledge and expertise that is often untapped because we often rely on outside vendors or we rely on other people to do the work. And when we have teachers um, leveraging their, their collaboration, leveraging their work, I see them grow as educators and it's, it's one of the most rewarding parts of my job. And in the car metaphor, in our journey, the destination is student learning. And we want every teacher, we want every conversation focused on student learning. Um, if our destination is student learning, we need a vehicle to get us there. And the vehicle is the professional learning community. We need a map and if, if we're going to get to our destination. And for us, the map is our curriculum. We need uh, something that will tell us whether we've gone too far. Those are the guideposts. Did we pass the 7-Eleven? Do we turn left at the gas station? And assessments are critical to that. Those formative and summative assessments on which we're all focused these days tell us if we're going too fast, should we slow down? And these assessments guide curriculum revision. They guide what's going on in the classroom. And then finally, we have the terrain. Uh, will it be a smooth terrain? Will it be bumpy and rocky? And that is the climate and culture of our school. I visited with teachers and administrators from five of the 34 New Jersey schools that have been part of a pilot program to use the Connected Action Roadmap with the assistance of the New Jersey Department of Education, which has identified CAR as its vision for teaching, leading, and learning in New Jersey schools. As you will see, the CAR framework allows the process to work in any school, big or small, affluent or underserved, high school or K-3. to these CAR users are happy to tell of the positive changes that the process has brought to their school by empowering their PLCs through focus and collaboration. So we had all these pieces, just no one ever put them together. So one of the things we did was, in a, really introducing it to the staff, was saying, this is not something new. You've done all of this. Now we're just bringing it together and showing the connectivity between all these pieces. And once it was laid out in that fashion, I think we didn't get too much of the resistance because as we worked through the process and we worked through the modules for ourselves and for the staff, it was, hey, I've done that or I've seen that, but now I see, now that it's not in isolation, I see the power of it. I just had to put it with the right pieces. I think CAR would, look, would work well at any grade level. Um, from kindergarten on up. I agree. Um, just because the collaboration that we have right. and when in reality what it comes down to is the benefit of the children. So it benefits them um, right. from any grade. Right. Any, that any collaboration grade level. would definitely right. benefit any right. teacher at any grade level and any student at any grade level. I feel less stressed this mm -hmm. year <laughs> than I have in the past because I feel like we're all on the same page for like the first time and we're 
talking and having these conversations, we have the time to have these conversations, it's not just rushed in the hallway, like, hey, by the way, I wanted to ask you about what, where you are right now. Like, so it's, it's, yeah, it's less stressful too. It makes our jobs easier. Many of the teachers and administrators from the pilot districts were surprised to see how quickly their PLCs went from being unfocused and ineffective to organized and coherent through structured, important, and meaningful conversations that can lead to improved student learning. So what, what I'm hearing back from a lot of schools who use the CAR framework and those using the modules in the pilot program is the work of the PLCs becomes more focused, more targeted. And the CAR conversations keeps PLCs focused on the practice of teaching and on student learning and that's exactly where it should be. Once you have your curriculum documents in place and your PLCs active, that process that's built within CAR of professional learning communities having meaningful conversations about curriculum instruction and assessment within a climate of shared leadership and a climate of learning for both students and adults, that will take you on the road, the forever road, to continuous school improvement that is constantly leading to higher levels of student learning, which is the destination. The CAR framework to me is it was a it's a program to improve our PLCs. Not only to improve our PLCs though, but to improve our school climate overall. It was it's helpful to motivate teacher learning, motivate student learning, and ultimately to improve student achievement. I have a wonderful staff and they work really hard, but PLCs were not actual PLCs. They were more um, time to meet together, time to plan for the talent show, time to do all different things that, that my teachers do, but not directly related to um, improving student achievement. I know that I've spoken with a few teachers who have PLCs that don't use CAR, and a lot of them it's searching for that sense of purpose. And they say, we meet, but we don't know what to talk about. Or we meet and we're not sure where our struggle is. Or we meet and our PLC got off task. So I think that having, like we were talking about, the roadmap keeps our PLCs from going off task and being more purposeful and more meaningful. I feel like before this, when we would meet for PLCs, we didn't really know what direction we were going in. We would kind of sit and we would talk about what we need to do with our students, but not really know how to get there. Now we know how to get there. We've been trying for a number of years to successfully get PLCs off the ground, and I, as far as I'm concerned, this is the first time I really feel great confidence in our PLCs. But after receiving the training from CAR, not, not only did I feel though it it really just focused on our PLCs, but it really made an understanding of why we're doing it. Um, when it's not just a piece of paper now for our PLCs. You know, it's staff members understanding one another, um, you know, having the same expectations. It's staff members understanding that we're all in this together and understanding why we're here. And that's, of course, to improve student learning. Supports have to be put in place for the teachers to do this work. Time, uh, resources, committed PLC structures need to be in place. Uh, and so there needs to be this shared mission, this shared vision of where CAR fits within the school's operating system. One teacher that used to work here is in a different district and she says all the time that most schools are not like what we are doing. And what we are doing is fantastic and she wishes she could, you know, have more of that in her new district. We focus a lot on discussions about standards, and I think looking at the roadmap as almost like a diagram as to this is where we're starting, this is where we're going, it was easy for us to figure out almost almost like you were following a map. We're starting here, this is our end point, and giving us a direction to go with each specific standard. I think it just keeps us on task. Mm -hmm. You know, it keeps us, like like you said, it's like a framework, so it keeps us focused on what we need to, to address. And it gives us the time. Mm -hmm. And then how to, like, you know, how will they know, how will we know they know it? So we have to, you know, create um, meaningful assessments on what we've already taught them. Mm -hmm. So it's not, you know, we're not just assessing them in a roundabout way. We're assessing them on the standard we unpacked and what we actually taught them. One important aspect of the CAR process is the blended online learning modules, a series of online resources and guides to the conversations that PLCs can use including a number of informative instructional training videos.
The blended online learning modules have every resource you could want. It becomes a real database uh, resource repository of best practice information. I think the training videos were great. I think the scenarios that were provided were definitely realistic. You can pinpoint in each of those videos who is who in a PLC. All of those modules are center around CAR, the process, how to implement it. They're geared to having teams of teachers use these resources in their schools. All the videos are short, right. which is great. It makes them very user friendly. And what was great is because the videos are the brevity of the videos, it allows for conversation to unpack the videos. And that's where some of the richness came out in those conversations with our staff. The way it's set up, the way it's designed is perfect for any type of education professional to use it, whether you be in your first year, your ninth year, or your 30th year. One of the most significant changes in these pilot schools using CAR has been the effect it has had on the teachers using the framework, how they work together in teams, and how they feel they've grown to become better teachers and better leaders. And it really has changed our culture. We have um, core values in this building, and one of them being family. And you can't have family if you're in isolation and you're working as uh, separate silos. CAR has allowed us to come together in our core values so we're not just saying it but we're living it as well. For Natalie and I that was the fourth grade teacher who I worked with she and I we joked because each workshop that we'd go to each training we would feel like we came back skipping you know from a candy shop ready to just implement it you know teach our staff and we felt that we're not sure if it's just because it was you know teachers presenting to teachers um, or just the program itself that they just bought into it so nicely and it just ran smooth from the very beginning. Well most certainly the CAR um, experience in this school has allowed us to um, really see what laser-like focus on student achievement looks like. But more importantly, at least from my perspective, it also gives you an in-house um, development of your next level of leaders. It allows them to become more mature and more consistent, more decisive and um, stronger. And because of those things, you can expect um, not only um, to see student achievement um, change exponentially, but the culture of your school to grow as well. In terms of teacher leaders, it provides a great opportunity for teachers to exhibit and use their leadership skills without stepping outside of the classroom. So it's the best of all possible worlds. And with all the changes taking place in these car pilot schools, none of it really matters in the end unless the ultimate goal of improved student learning is achieved. And the missing link between these PLC conversations and student achievement is developing a viable standards-based curriculum. Right now we're trying to hold everyone accountable for student growth but in many cases schools don't have the actual tools that teachers need to be accountable like a viable curriculum ongoing formative and summative assessment those types of pieces that are part of CAR allowing them to meet together to decide what's the best way to address student learning without those opportunities how can we hold teachers and leaders responsible for student growth. CAR pulls together all the pieces, um, all the essential pieces of teach the teaching, learning, and assessment cycles. And there are pieces that have been around forever, and they fit naturally and coherently together when the CAR framework is put in place. Because the conversations focus on developing the curriculum, delivering the curriculum, reflecting on, and revising the curriculum. There was also, with the reflective components, um, I think some recognition that if it were implemented with some fidelity, it had the opportunity to really make curriculum a living, breathing document that was constantly refreshed and informed by the conversations that the teachers were having. The CAR framework is that easy. It's not something that's loaded with jargon, loaded with, you know, it has to be this way. It was, it's just that simple. How, how are we going to make changes in curriculum and instruction to improve student learning? And that's what we're all about. CAR, it represents the best of practice and that when you are implementing best practices, that will be sustained. And it really has shown people the difference between professional development and professional learning. 
This is ongoing, job-embedded, shared leadership, learning from one another. And for a new teacher, being in a PLC with veteran teachers yes. is the best professional learning you can ever ask for. We all have a destination we want students to get to, right? It's different for everybody, but we always know what the end goal is. We don't always know how to get there. What CAR does is it facilitates that. It gives you all the tools and the CAR to get there. My passion comes because I know it's good for kids. I know it's good for schools. I know that it changes culture and climate. Teachers are engaged in their work. That's what they want to be engaged in. They want to be leaders of curriculum, instruction, and assessment. We need to let them um, really focus on their work because that's going to bring us um, the highest levels of student achievement, and that's what we want. I would say definitely put the keys in, turn on the car, <laughs> and give it a go. Um, you know, it's a hard process. Change is always hard, but you have to keep the faith in the process and really believe and trust in your staff and the administrators that together we can achieve whatever that goal is. And I think that car really does that for you.